Comica, who are a company that specialise in microphones, were kind enough to send me over their CVM SigLav VO5 UC USB-C lavalier microphone to test out. Phew, that is quite a mouthful for a name. <laughs> Oh my god, so we're just gonna call it the VO5 from now on because I am not saying that again. But before we start, just as a disclaimer, Comica did send me this microphone free of charge, but they did not pay me and they have no input in this video. So as a headline summary, this is a budget wired lavalier or lapel mic that is targeted towards those who use a mobile device primarily to create audio or video content. And you can pick up one of these microphones for around 45 US dollars. The version I have has a USB-C connector, but you can get a lightning connector version for use with Apple devices or 3.5 millimeter jack version for use with mirrorless cameras for example. Now we're going to switch over to the Comica mic connected to my phone so that you can hear how it sounds. So we've now switched over to the Comica VO5 connected to my OnePlus 6T and you've probably noticed that the video quality has taken a little bit of a dip but it'll probably be better on newer smartphones but we're really more interested in the audio quality here so hopefully this audio sounds good. And just for reference this is what it sounds like without the VO5 connected and just using the internal speakers on the OnePlus 6T. As you can probably tell you probably hear the light noise a lot louder and it's probably not picking up my voice as well uh, so this is where a lavalier mic can really up your audio game when you're using a smartphone. Okay, so the original plan was to actually film this whole video on my OnePlus 6T using just this microphone. I've actually filmed this video twice now on my OnePlus 6T and the, the quality was just absolutely useless, like it was terrible. So uh, I didn't want to put you guys through that. So what I decided to do is film the video on the A7C and sync up the audio from the Comica mic in post. So that's what you're hearing right now. So going back to the VO5, in the box you get the mic itself, you get a nice little carry case and you get a short instruction manual. And the microphone takes a removable CR2032 battery which Comica handily includes in the box so that you don't have to go out and buy this. So as with anything there's going to be positives and negatives to using this product and I want to kind of talk about them so that you can make an informed buying decision when thinking about buying this microphone. So let's talk about the positives. Firstly this microphone easily connects to any USB-C device such as a smartphone or or an iPad Pro or even my Mac Mini as well. This is handy because you don't have to use any weird TRS to TRRS cables or any USB-C dongles to make it work. It just plugs straight into your device. One thing to note is that with some Android phones such as my OnePlus 6T, the main camera app doesn't actually support an external microphone. So I actually got around this by downloading the Open Camera app which does support external microphones. Secondly, I like that they've decided to use an easily replaceable and cheap to buy battery in this. If you do end up running the battery down, then you can quickly go out to a supermarket and buy a replacement. Also this microphone has a headphone monitoring jack which is a really welcome feature but more on this later. And Comica have also included stopless gain control on the inline controller and this is really really nice if you want to fine tune the gain on your microphone so that you're not peaking and the audio sounds really crisp. I found this especially useful because I found that the internal gain for each different device that I've used it with is quite different. So for example on my OnePlus 6T and my iPad, it's actually really quite high. So you have to have the gain on the microphone quite low. Whereas on the Mac mini, I turned it right up because the gain on the Mac mini is seemingly quite a bit lower. And this microphone has two main modes when you've got it turned on. So it has the standard mode where you're hearing all the audio around you. And then you have a low pass filter mode, which basically cuts out all those high frequencies, such as the noise of my lights here, or maybe the noise of you know any electrical hums that might be in the room around you. While you can easily apply audio effects such as a low pass filter in editing, there are some situations where you don't have the luxury of applying audio effects before the audio reaches the audience, such as in run and gun live streaming situations. So I think if you are gonna use your phone for kind of live streaming and things like that, then this microphone might help improve that audio quality quite a bit. Next, I like the fact that Comica have actually made the wires on this microphone decently long. This means that you've got the freedom to kind of walk about a little bit when you are using this microphone, maybe connected to your phone. And that's your length of this thing. Uh, I've got it just, the, the phone literally lying right underneath the uh, camera. And if I walk back, I've got so much of this, uh, the length of this mic, I can literally walk all the way back. Not sure, I can't quite touch the wall, but almost there, almost there. So that's, you could stand this far back from the camera and have no issues. And finally, this microphone opens up the possibility for you to use your phone or a different mobile device as an external recorder if you want to catch some scratch or secondary audio. And if you decide to do this, then it gives you the ability to walk as far away from your camera as you want while still getting some really good audio without having to use something like the Rode Wireless Go. All you'd have to do is sync the audio in post. All right, so this is using the VO5 as an external recorder. I've got it actually 
clipped on to myself and walking around with the phone in my pocket We're recording just now and like this I can just literally walk as far away from the camera as I want and you can still hear me fine yeah, I can literally go into another room and you can still hear me so no issues with connection anything like that and you can still hear me right now I can even go outside of a one. Now you can see me through the window and you can, should be able to hear me. So now let's talk about some of the negatives of this microphone. Firstly, and quite an obvious one, is that you can't connect this microphone to a mirrorless camera or a more professional setup that uses a 3.5 millimeter jack because you only got the USB-C connection. While you'll know this when actually considering buying this microphone, I've put it as a negative because if you want to upgrade your gear from a smartphone to maybe a mirrorless camera, then you won't be able to use this microphone with that setup. Secondly, the headphone monitoring jack in my experience Experience was quite hit and miss. I found that the internal gain varied wildly between different devices. On my phone and my iPad, for example, the internal gain was seemingly quite high, which meant I had to have the gain on the microphone set really low. And this meant that when I actually plugged in some headphones, I couldn't actually hear what I was saying. In these situations, it kind of made the headphone monitoring jack kind of useless, to be honest. However, in contrast, when I was using this microphone with my Mac Mini, I found that I had to turn the gain on the microphone right up to maximum because the gain internally to the Mac Mini seemed to be quite low. In this case, I could actually use the headphone jack and monitor my audio and make sure that it wasn't peaking and things. But fundamentally, I don't really know how this is something that Comic could fix because it's really based on the internal gain of each device and that varies wildly between between all these different devices that you might be using this microphone with. Thirdly, I previously mentioned that long wires were a positive for me, but they're also definitely a negative because it takes literally ages to put this away if you want to put it away in like a tidy way. I was recently watching a video on this microphone by one of my fellow creators, Andy, or the medical photography guy, and I actually laughed out loud at one point because he actually pulled the microphone out of the carry case and it was just all kind of tangled up and wrapped around the microphone like the, the controller. I just thought it was kind of funny. I felt his pain in terms of like actually trying to put this away. He just kind of got sick of it and just put it straight into the carry case. But shout out to Andy, go and check his video out if you want to see more about this mic is he covers a lot of things that I don't actually cover within my video. And finally, I've added in one more kind of relatively major negative since starting filming this video. I found that the dynamic range of this microphone isn't necessarily that great. You have to turn it up quite loud to make sure that you've got the same audio levels as other similar mics that I've been using. And this means that it picks up a lot of background noise as an omnidirectional microphone. I found that to get the right audio levels and to have it loud enough so that the audio levels were similar to that of other mics that I was using, I had to turn the mic up to a point where it was almost peaking. And that's why throughout this video previously, you would have heard a few different points where it actually peaked, which isn't great and it doesn't sound good at all. I think if you're listening to this, you can probably also hear my lights in the background. I'll hold my hands up. This could be an issue with something I'm doing wrong, but I haven't had this issue at all with any of my other microphones with the you know combination of bad background noise and peaking because you can't get the audio levels right. And just the last thing to mention is that the gain dial on this is quite sensitive. So you can quickly go from the right audio levels to peaking or too low, especially if the internal gain of the device you're using is really quite high. But that just the right wraps up my review of this microphone. Ultimately, it's a nice budget option if you do use your smartphone to film video and audio content and you are okay taking a bit of extra time to actually fine tune the settings so that you know that you're not gonna be peaking and you're not going to be you know, picking up a load of background noise. And due to this, the VO5 definitely comes with some downsides that you have to consider before buying this product. If you like this video and you're currently exploring different microphone setups, perhaps for your YouTube channel, then I'd recommend checking out these two videos on the left and right of me. But otherwise, as always, it's been an absolute pleasure. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.